Hey guys, today I'm gonna be talking about my tips for fishing in Stardew Valley. So I play Stardew Valley on stream pretty frequently and I tend to get a lot of questions about how I'm so good at fishing um, or what my tips are for fishing. So I'll tell you right now, I'm not that good at fishing. Um, I did a little bit of research when I first started playing the game on how to be better at fishing because it was the bane of my existence. And then once I learned these tips, it really helped me and I was able to kind of master the fishing skill. However, I'm still not really perfect at fishing um, and I still miss fish and I haven't caught um, some of the more difficult fish yet. Uh, but I also haven't maxed out the fishing skill yet completely. So I think that has something to do with it, but I'm well on my way there. Uh, really all I need to do is fish more and so today I'm going to show you how you can easily grow your fishing skill in Stardew Valley and make fishing easier. So let's jump on in. Okay so first off uh, when you start the game Willie gives you the bamboo fishing rod. The bamboo rod is all right but the bar starts off really really small when you're at fishing level zero. Um, and basically every fishing level that you advance, your bar gets bigger. There's also bait and tackle that can help your bar be bigger as well within the mini game that can kind of help ease the process along. So here I'm going to go buy some, uh, the training rod from Willie. There are also certain types of tackle that can help increase the size of the training rod as well. So here I am buying the training rod from Willie, and this is my biggest tip. So the training rod is 25G and it basically gives you the green bar that is the size of a level five fishing skill. So it's a lot bigger than the bamboo pole. Um, the only downside to the training rod is you can't catch anything but basic level fish. So no silver, gold or iridium level fish, but you're probably not going to be catching those anyway if you suck at fishing. So um, you can see here that the bar is a lot bigger as well as there's little bubbles in the water and those will increase the speed at which fish bite. So if you see those do fish near them, but as you can see, uh, the bar is a lot bigger and a lot easier to keep behind the fish um, just because of its size. The other tip that I have for fishing um, is I know when I started, my habit was to like mash down on the mouse one button. Um, and I have found now that just clicking like almost one, two, three, one, two, three kind of clicks, like not super fast, not super slow um, is kind of the best way to do it. Obviously, it depends what kind of fish you're getting, how difficult they are to catch. But um, I've noticed if you try to like hold down the mouse button, the green bar will just shoot up. And then if you don't have a lead bobber, it'll bounce off the bottom and you'll probably lose the fish. You can actually see me in this video lose a fish a couple times, but here I am. Um, just practicing some fishing with that training rod. And the nice thing is, is when you're using the training rod over and over and over and catching multiple fish, you're increasing your skill level while kind of cheating by already having an increased skill level green bar in the mini game. The other tip that I have is the high quality fishing areas. So um, the rock on the pier in at the ocean is one of them. There's also a higher fishing area here over by Leah's house. It's actually a little bit to the left of where I'm standing currently. Um, it's by the two lily pads, but you can catch some high quality fish here. And then there's another spot in the mountain lakes, which I'll show you in just a second, that you can also catch some higher quality fish. Um, but here you can see I'm just using that training rod, practicing my fishing. It's really all about practice and you really have to have patience and put a little bit of time into it, but I promise once you have practiced, it gets so much easier and the training rod is seriously a lifesaver. I think I read about the training rod on the wiki, I wanna say, which leads me to another tip, which is using the freaking wiki. Um, I'm one who doesn't really like spoilers in my game, so I use the wiki with caution, um, but when I'm finding that I'm kind of stuck on a fish, maybe for the community center or just certain things like that, excuse me, I will use the uh, wiki to help get some information. Um, and the wiki will tell you what season, uh, what kind of weather and things like that you need to catch certain fish because some fish are only available in certain seasons and in certain weather conditions. And some fish also require a certain fishing skill level. So you just will not be able to catch them unless you're at a certain skill level. And I'm not gonna get into all those. You can look them up in the wiki. 
Uh, I do believe one of them is like the ghost fish in the mines. You have to be, I think, a level 10 to catch that one, as well as some of the legendary fish. So here I'm using the bamboo rod just to show you the um, quality, because like I said before, you can't catch anything but basic quality fish with the training rod. However, with the bamboo rod, you can catch more higher quality fish. Um, so here I caught a silver chub. Um, and the more your skill level increases, the higher the quality of fish will get. I'm now catching iridium fish pretty frequently in the high uh, quality spots. If you're not in high quality spot, you might not catch higher quality fish, but that's okay. You're still gaining that skill. Um, so that is what's important. And some fish are not super difficult to catch with the small bar, but some really are. Here you can see I am selling the rest of the fish that I caught. Uh, I contemplated keeping the largemouth bass because I think it's part of the community center, but then I'm like, girl, this is not even your regular save. So I didn't keep it. And I'm actually just going to send this little chica to bed um, early so that you can see that my fishing skill will level up just after one day of, of fishing um, with that training rod, which is super nice. The other thing is fishing does use a lot of energy when your skill level's low, so make sure you keep snacks with you. Um, that's kind of true for everything in this game, but the snacks will really help you out. Okay, so here I am uh, fishing again at Leah's house, and I am just trying to catch a higher quality fish um but i think i actually just missed one but anyway this is the high quality fish area for river fish so this is the river the lake high quality area is up by the mines and then the beach or ocean high quality area is on the pier on the west side um, next to the big rock okay so now we are back at the beach and i'm actually going to show you something else that i didn't know for a while and that is that there are certain meals that you can make that will help you with uh different tasks so there's some for fishing, mining, farming, all the things. But the trout soup that you can buy from Willie, it does increase your fishing proficiency by plus one. So it basically adds plus one proficiency to your fishing skill, no matter what your skill is. Um, so it just gives you a little boost and will also help you level up to the next level, uh, which was my goal here. So I'm just doing some more fishing, trying to level up to level two of the fishing skill. Um, and the only thing with fishing is it is kind of boring. It does kind of take time. And sometimes those fish just are not biting. Um, so definitely look for the little bubbles in the water because that is where you will get more bites. There's also some bait that you can use um, and some tackle. And I'll show you that in just a minute. Okay, so here you can see me fishing in the higher quality spot by the ocean. This is what I'm talking about. It's this rock right here and you can catch higher quality fish there. But again, you can't catch high quality fish with the training rod. So you'll have to use either the bamboo, the fiberglass or the iridium rod for that. Now, the bamboo rod, you cannot add bait to. It's just baseline. It's kind of just the generic rod that Louis or Louis, I'm sorry, Willie gives you when you get to town. You can buy the fiberglass rod pretty short after and that one you can attach bait to, but no tackle. And then the iridium rod is, I think, 7500 G. And I don't remember what level you have to be to buy that. But once you're able to get that, you're able to put bait and tackle on, which is really, really helpful. Um, and we'll go through some of the tackle in just a minute. I'm going to hop over to a different save so you can see uh, where I have a higher fishing skill and a better rod and I'm able to craft or purchase some of those uh, different tackle items that can help your fishing skill as well. Here's my other save. So this save, I'm a lot further along. I think I'm level either level six or level eight, I believe, in fishing. You can see I've caught quite a few different iridium level fish. Anyway, so there's the fiberglass rod that I was talking about. And then these are all the different types of things. You have the cork bobber, which increases the size. Um, the barbed hook kind of keeps the fishing bar behind your fish. The spinner increases the bite rate. Um, and I believe the trap bobber helps the fish to not escape as fast when you aren't reeling them in. Um, so here I am going to go, I believe, craft some baits. You can craft bait out of bug meat, uh, which you'll find in the mines. So when you have a ton of bug meat, you can make bait and then you you right click to add it onto your pole. And then we're going to go head down. Uh, it looks like to the river to do some fishing and I will show you the difference. So you're going to see an immediate difference in the size of the bar with this rod because the iridium bar has a bigger green bar behind it. Um, and I also have the lead bobber attached with the which the lead bobber helps. It keeps it from bouncing off the bottom if you have a fish that like darts all around. I believe I miss 
this first fish. I don't know. There is a fish I think that I miss here because um, some of the fish are just difficult and I'm not that high leveled up yet. Like I said, I am a beginner as well, but these are kind of just tips that I wish I would have known before I started playing Stardew Valley and some things that I found out that really helped. Um, so that was with the lead bobber. Yeah, I'm fishing level eight. That's what I thought. Um, now I'm going to switch my bait or my tackle out. I'm sorry. Uh, we're going to use, it looks like the trap bobber, which again, helps keep your fish on, um, the line when you're not reeling them in, which just kind of decreases the rate at which the orange slash green bar on the side goes from green to orange. So I'm trying to kind of show you here. It goes a lot slower down. Um, when I'm kind of messing up and not keeping it on on my line. Um, and again, clicking short clicks of the mouse, I think work better than holding it down. If you hold it down, you'll find that your bar just shoots all over the place and is bouncy and it's a hot mess. And it's just really not going to work the way that you want it to. OK, so here I'm going to use the barbed hook and you can kind of see what that one does. Again, apparently it only works with small fish. So if you do hook a big fish, it's not going to do its exact job. And I think this is actually where I miss the fish. Yeah. So this is a, a fish that's a lot bigger than the hook is good for, it seems. Um, so it didn't stay behind. But you'll see on this one that it stays right behind um, the the fish. So I'm not clicking at all. This is This is the bait doing it for me. It's kind of sticking to the fish and keeping the green bar. Now, I will say... Don't rely completely on the hook because eventually it will kind of like give up and you'll have to start clicking. Um, so don't get too confident with that hook because it doesn't do all the work for you every time. Now we are using the cork bobber, I do believe, and that one increases the size of the green bar slightly. So you'll have a bit bigger of a green bar to work with uh, when you are fishing. Yep, you can see it, it's quite a bit bigger actually. Um, and again, just makes it easier. Now, here's an interesting situation. We have a treasure and I was, I think, trying. I can't remember if I get this treasure. So the, what you have to do with the treasure is you have to keep the bar behind it until its little mini orange bar fills up. And that can be kind of tricky if you have a fish that escapes easily. What I try to do is get the green bar on the right hand side of the mini game as high as I can. Then I'll let go of the fish scoot up to the treasure, get it really quick, and then go back and focus on the fish. But you do risk losing your fish doing that, just so you know. And sometimes the treasure is kind of crap. But sometimes you do get good stuff too. So it's kind of a win. Um, you win some, you lose some kind of thing. There's also a tackle that I don't believe I have here. But it's, uh, I want to say it's something, a magnet, some sort of magnet tackle. And that one helps attract different uh treasures you're like more likely to find treasure i think when you're fishing but i don't really care about the treasure as much um when i'm fishing so i don't usually use that one usually i'm just trying to catch fish um especially right now i'm really working hard on my community center bundles but i'm struggling to get a couple of the fish because i either haven't found them or they're just too difficult to catch and i have not been able to catch them yet but we are getting there anyways guys that pretty much sums up my tips for fishing in stardew valley uh, if you're a beginner, obviously I am still a beginner. I have never even reached level 10 fishing on PC. I have reached it on the Switch, uh, which I do think fishing is a little bit easier. But these are my tips. Get that training rod. Start using bait and tackle as soon as you can. Um, and once you're done leveling up with the training rod, I would say spend that money to get the iridium rod as soon as you can because the iridium rod really, really makes it a lot easier to fish. And you're able to use tackle and bait, um, both of which will help you catch more fish fish now don't forget there are also meals and things that can help you um there's dish of the sea that i think actually increases your fishing skill by three i think there's a couple other ones that all do varying things as well so look into those and the last tip is use the wiki use the wiki use the wiki it is a game changer a lifesaver that's where i've gotten most of my information from to be honest and um, i use it all the time i hope you guys enjoyed this video i hope it was helpful Please leave a like and subscribe if you want to see more and comment down below what your tips for fishing are if you have any that I didn't mention. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Bye.